Let's see the difference between the official video driver for Lenovo Legion Go and the latest adrenaline uh, and the latest adrenaline with support for fluid motion frames too. At this point, I have here on Lenovo Legion Go, um, I have um, the official uh, MD Adrenaline Edition 24.40, and um, the, these are the settings for the graphics. So uh, nothing fancy or HyperX active. Uh, I don't have the super resolution active. So let's let's disable also uh, these. Um, so here I have the game. At this point, um, I have 40, 30 frames. Look and a big uh, lag here in the game. Everything is stuttering. I, I have to say that I have the device set to 1920 by 1200, 144 hertz, performance mode, smart uh, fan, and here I have um, low settings for the game, 1920 by 1200, FSR to set to balanced mode. Here. For graphics, I have everything set to low. And let's see, let's see what we get. Uh, you know, I tried the game uh, previously with the uh, fluid motion frames too, and it was amazing. Let's see, let's fly. No, we can't here in the city, we have to get out. Anyway, uh, the game feels... Um, feels very bad, the experience with the game, it's very bad basically. As you know, I played previously with higher graphics, uh, this one, and it was absolutely incredible with fluid motion frames to look how it's it's unplayable at this point. So let me let me exit the village. So here we are with the late the the, the same settings at this point. We can fly here and look 20 frames. Also, um, I don't know why with uh, with this one, it seems that the frame rate counter doesn't work, at least for me. But look, anyway, it's it's unplayable in uh, in my opinion. It says 40 frames, 37, but as you see the game uh, has a lot of uh, freezing moments. Look. I will install now the latest AMD Adrenaline Edition with support for fluid motion frames too and we will see the difference with the same uh, setup, the same um, uh, settings and we will see what we get. Um, let's, uh, let's see it. Now let's see the game with the same setup, but with a uh, latest AMD Adrenaline Edition with fluid motion frames too. I have the device set to performance mode, the game the same with um, low quality graphics and 1920 by 1200. So let's see it. Um, but at this point, I have the latest AMD Adrenaline Edition um, 24.9.1, which has support for um, a fluid motion frames too. This is it. So um, let's see the game and let's see this huge, huge difference. At this point, I have four gigabytes of video RAM and um, just look what difference we have here i know it's not a perfect software this one too but still look how fluid the game feels and um, how smooth everything feels compared with official driver uh, no more um, laggy experience or freeze here over the frames for me this is a this is the perfect experience I have a tutorial how to install fluid motion frames to the basically the latest uh, AMD Adrenaline Edition. Also, look.
You know, this is not a PlayStation 5. I am not saying this is the perfect experience or the best. It's a handheld device after all. And given the fact that we can play AAA games like this one at such quality and this beautiful display for me, it's amazing. Um, the portability is very important and um, now with the latest AMD Adrenaline with fluid motion frames too, look what we get. Just compare the first um, experience and this one.